Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here with part 2 of my new Achievement Hunter question mark series and today we are looking at something that rewards you for actually playing games. Say what? Yes indeed, so let's take a closer look at what I mean. So this obviously rewards you for playing all different types of Xbox Game Pass games. So again, obviously, 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 you will need a Game Pass subscription. Now my advice is to get Game Pass Ultimate, again this is if you haven't already got it, uh, but Game Pass Ultimate basically gives you Xbox Live Gold Membership, Game Pass, Game Pass for PC, EA Play and Xbox Cloud Gaming. All that wonderful delicious yum yum for the smallest price of just £10.99 slash $14.99. Now no matter, what, no matter what people tell you, that is a bargain of a lifetime. And I don't steer you wrong, do I? Well, I hope not anyway. Um, so. Now you've got Game Pass, you're all set up, you've got access to way over 100 games, but now you're thinking, did I just dream it or can I actually get rewards for playing Game Pass games? As it turns out, mm, yes you can. Big Phil and the guys and gals keep on giving the goods, but let me tell you how it works first of all. So you get three types of quests, daily, weekly and monthly. Now daily will be something easy like log into the Game Pass, ga uh, game, Pass game app or you know, uh, log into your phone for instance, or just play one Game Pass game. Weekly will be uh, to do a sort of easy certain thing in a particular game. And monthly will just be the same as a weekly quest, but a little bit more harder, a little bit more complicated, as you have the whole month to do it. Now I'm going to show you just some examples of this week's and month's particular ones in a moment, but now I'm going to show you where you can actually go to find a said quest, and how to turn in quests once done. So there are two ways you could do this, on your console and on your phone as well. Your phone then, what you gotta do is go ahead and download the Game Pass app. And once you are all logged in and everything, you just need to find the avatar which is at the bottom of the screen in the middle. So for me there, it is the uh, 2018 Sebastian Vettel red Ferrari car. Uh, but once we've clicked there, you should now see how many points you have accrued so far. Uh, so for me, I, where it says obviously Microsoft Rewards Balance, 29,095. Uh, but what we can do, if we scroll all the way to the bottom there, you can now see the quests. Now if you click on Show All, um, as we can see then, so you'll always get the one daily quest to do. So for me today, for instance, was playing a Game Pass game. Scroll down a little bit more, we see Weekly Quests. So in terms of games, what I had to do is just play Death's Door, and I've got to spend five minutes on Broken Age. Relatively easy the weekly ones are and then if we go down to uh, Monthly ones uh, again with the weekly and the monthly you'll always get things like play a couple of different game pass games Unlock a few achievements just for an easy uh, plus 10 uh, but in terms of games And as we can see there the 1k I'll get for completing 22 daily and 12 weekly quests, which is nice uh, But as for games uh, as you can see I've got I got to get, get uh, five stealth kills on Dishonored 2 Get 50 meters traveled in dumpster in Human Fall Flat. Collect 400 candy in Costume Quest 2. And f have five time spent successfully avoiding alien detection and alien isolation. So, um, like I said, you it's a little bit more complicated than monthly. But you do have to do them um, if you obviously particularly want to. Of course, these will change from day to week to month. So try and blast out what you can. And then to find it on your console, once it is switched on, what you have to do is go down uh, just a couple to Game Pass. Uh, scroll all the way down until we find quests. So they are going to be right around yeah, somewhere. There we go. Uh, so there's the quests. And we will see again what exactly we need to do and how long that we've got left to do it in. So if we just uh, click on it here... Right, there we go. So whenever we've got a quest done, we will get a notification saying that we've got quests ready to turn in. And again, you will see that at the top of the page when you enter the Game Pass app. So whenever you have done something, i.e. done the Broken Age one that I've got or played different couple of different Game Pass games, it will tell you to turn in quests just right next to the points balance right there. So once you've begun, you've done quite a chunk, you've gotten a few reward points. You're probably wondering now, well, where the fudge sickle titty ball do I spend this and what can I buy with it? Well, there's actually so much you can choose to buy. You can buy in-game content, for example, to other games, films, apps, 
and even bigger ones like accessories and actual devices too. Although, of course, that'll probably take a little while to get there. Uh, but there is, again, so much more if you wanted. So if you go to Microsoft Rewards page, now I normally just type in Microsoft Rewards on Google, on your PC or your phone, you'll be given a choice out of hundreds of things generally. From £1,000 shopping sweepstakes to random gift cards, which include stuff like New Look, Halfords, Curry's, PC World, etc. And obviously all the American ones too, if you're from there, and other stuff for other countries. Or if you're feeling charitable, you can actually donate to certain charities as well, which is just a really, really top thing to do. So, that is how Microsoft Rewards with Game Pass Quests are done. You literally get rewarded for playing. Not only that, it is brilliant because it gives you an incentive to try new games that you might not have played before. Even if you're not interested, you can just get the reward and never play a game, resulting in not that much time wasted and you've got more points. So, everybody a winner, huh? So there we have it. Now this was aimed at any new achievement hunters primarily, but of course, also for anyone who's been achievement hunting for years, but never really got the whole concept of Game Pass quests and Microsoft rewards, so I do hope that clears a few things up for you. Now get to questing. Get accruing those points and get yourself some tasty rewards for yourself. So that's the second part of the new Achievement Hunter series done. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, Achievement Hunters. Ba-ba-ba-big love.